for the first time in days, we are looking at a substantial severe threat affecting the Ohio Valley and Northeast, bringing a chance for significant damaging winds, hail, and possibly a few tornadoes. Back down in the south, Florida is looking dead in the eyes of the first hurricane that could possibly make landfall in the U.S. as a large area of interest is rapidly intensifying near the Caribbean Sea. But before we talk about those pesky sea balls, let's talk about those gosh dang tornadoes. Coming over to the HRRR here, we can see we have a large system moving through parts of Michigan, Ohio, into Pennsylvania, and New York. Even more more interesting than that is actually for the first time in days we have elevated STP values indicating a probable environment for tornadoes. STP is a mathematical equation that's used to figure out how favorable a specific environment is for tornadoes. And guess what? If you really care about STP, here you go. Here's this giant long mathematical equation that no one cares about. All we care about is the number. Back over on the ARRR we can see where we do have these elevated STP values. We actually have storms there. What happens when storms are on high STP values? They spin happens when storms spin they produce tornadoes and the SPC agrees with this issuing a 5% risk of tornadoes for the areas outlined right here. Now while I can almost certainly say this is not going to be a prolific tornado outbreak I do expect to see a few damaging tornadoes today mostly attributed with the forward speed of the system. When you have a fast moving system it helps to fuel the overall wind speed of the tornadoes making them more violent. Most of our tornado potential today will be in about this area right here this is where we're going to see the storm still semi discrete or discrete before they form into an MCS and become linear. The longer we see semi-discrete and discrete supercells today, the more tornadoes we'll end up seeing. So keep an eye out on radar if you're in any of these areas. Speaking of keeping an eye out, back down in the Caribbean, we have a little something something brewing. Taking a look at the Euro here, we can see that this super catastrophic category six hurricane that we had on models a few days ago is actually still here. It does, however, no longer look like it's going to be a category six hurricane. Coming over to the GFS here, looking here, we can see, well, what the heck? Okay, so it's clear that models don't agree yet what's gonna happen with this storm. And this is because of the heat dome we still have going on leading to an upper ridge in the jet stream. Now I know you guys might not know what I'm talking about so we're going to do some beautiful art here to show you guys what I'm talking about. In the US right now our jet stream looks a little something like this and what this is going to do is it's going to cause any tropical system to be pulled up from the Gulf of Mexico into the mainland US. However at the exact same time this tropical system is forming we're going to start to see the jet stream break apart. It's going to take more of an appearance of something that looks like this and if we see this happen this is going to act as a wall to make sure no hurricanes enter the mainland US. All the hurricanes are simply going to bounce off of it and be sent off to sea to be a fish storm, much like this storm's bigger brother Franklin who's doing a really really good job of churning up water right now. Nice job Franklin! Now the NHC has issued a 50% chance of this system developing into some sort of tropical cyclone in the next seven days, so we just need to keep an eye on it. More specifically this area of thunderstorms which will be the spark of this possible tropical system. But for now there's not much more we can say with any terms of certainty. Hello camera! Bruh. Well, that does it for today's video. Make sure to follow my Twitter in the description down below for more frequent updates on these storms, as well as liking and subscribing to this channel. I'll be back with more updates on these storms when we know more. So until then, bye. But yes, to those of you guys in the central US, guess what? It's still hot. That's your forecast. All right, I'm actually leaving now. Bye.